Welcome back everyone, Mr. Vosters here. I'm a high school engineering teacher and uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to model this little precision screwdriver set. Uh, this bottom blue piece, we'll be modeling that in Onshape. So let's go over to our Onshape tab and I'm going to be working in my IED folder under 1.3, 1.3.4. So we already, uh, in the last video, part one, we modeled this little plate with uh, some filleted extrusions. We're going to create a new part studio within this file. So go down to the bottom, hit the little plus, and then do create new part studio. And then from here, we're going to create a sketch on the top plane. Let's go ahead and hide the rest of our planes so we have a clear work area. And then we're going to create a inscribed polygon. And let's uh, should put the uh, view cube on the top face so I can see it a little better. We're just going to create that inscribed pentagon. So make sure you click five uh, to get five sides there. Our dimensions we're going to we're going to dimension our circle, and we want that to be one point seven five inches. And then we want our um, bottom edge to be horizontal just so that our sketch is fully constrained there and then we can click the green check mark to move on let's go to our isometric view because we're going to extrude this and we want to be able to see that so we're going to extrude our pentagon up we're going to only extrude it up 0.25 inches now we're going to introduce something new here and that's where uh, in other drafting software, it's called a tapered extrusion. In Onshape, it's called a draft. So if you add a draft, it's hard to see, but this is actually kind of uh, angling outwards as it uh, goes up. And if I increase this degree amount to like 10, say, it's going to angle even more outwards. So we're actually going to do a 45 degree taper. However, we don't want ours angling out we want it angling in so we're going to click this little opposite direction button and that should achieve that angle in feature and if we rotate our view a little bit by holding down the right mouse button we can see that that worked so click the green check from here and then let's just go back to our base isometric view holding uh, shift and pressing the 7 key and next we're going to extrude it up a little bit so we're going to create this a little bit taller extrusion that's also going to be tapered or it's going to have a draft so I'll click extrude again this one's going to go up 0.75 inches so 0.75 hit enter and this one's going to have a draft angle of three degrees but we do want to make sure it's angled in so that looks good click the green check and now we're going to create this like little circle up here so in order to do that we're going to create what's called an offset plane so if you type in the search for plane so it's going to look like this so you may be able to just click on it but remember if you don't know where it is you can always just type it in the search and find it that way so we're going to do an offset plane from the top of our extrusion now you need to switch the uh, option in the drop down to offset and we're going to offset this by 0.1 inches so now if i rotate you can see that there is a slight gap between the top of my extrusion and this new plane so the reason we're creating this new plane is so that we can make a sketch on it so we'll click the green check once we've got our plane offset by 0.1 now i can create a sketch and if I click plane one, it'll create my sketch right on that plane, hovering 0.1 inches above the top of my extrusion. From here, we're going to draw a circle, and we want this circle to be pretty close to the edges here. Uh, the diameter, which we can dimension, is going to be 1.1 inches. When I type that in, it should go real close to the edges here, but not quite there. So then from here, we can click the green check. We're all good there. We can go ahead and hide our plane one since we're done with it. 
The circle should still stay there. Notice how it is still hovering above. Now we're going to use a new tool that we haven't seen before use the lo uh, called the loft tool. So click loft up here and then we're going to select our two different faces. And notice what it's doing here. It's taking our pentagon and it's like kind of transitioning that pentagon shape up to a circle. So it's creating kind of a funky geometry. And if you look at it from the sides, you can kind of see that. So it starts as a pentagon, but then it kind of melds up into a circle shape, um, kind of like we see on our actual shape here. Not exactly, but uh, it's a good approximation of it. So let's go back to our isometric, click the green check, and then we can keep moving on. So now we're going to um, extrude this up 0.5 inches at a three degree draft. So extrude. We want that to be 0 0.5 and then we're going to draft it by three degrees. It looks like it's going outwards. So I'm going to flip the direction so that it goes inwards. Click the green check and then I can add a fillet. So we want this to be kind of rounded up here. So let's add a small fillet using the fillet tool. Click this edge and it should go all the way around the circle for you. So we can switch that to a 0.1 inch radius and move on. So click the green check to do that. And it should be looking a lot like this. The next thing we're going to do is add this little tiny lip that we see at the very bottom. So it's not just like ending at a sharp point. It is going straight down or uh, at a slight angle at the bottom. So we don't want this sharp edge. We want it to uh, slide down a little bit, maybe 0 0.05 inches. So let's do an extrusion. Let's uh, click this bottom face and you have to rotate a little bit. To rotate like this, um, I'm just clicking the right mouse key, uh, the right mouse button, and I'm kind of moving my mouse around to rotate it. So we want our depth to be 0 0.05, and then we want a draft of three degrees. Now. You want to be sure that you're getting an angle that's kind of going out. So if it looks like this and it's going in slightly, you want to make sure you hit this opposite direction button before you click the green check. So I'm happy with that. Let's go to our isometric by hitting Shift 7. And then from here, we're going to create some cutouts where we can put the tools. So to start, we're going to create a sketch on the top of our extrusion here. Go to our top face and then we'll create a circle that has a size of 0.25 so we can dimension that quick and finish the sketch let's go to our isometric and then we'll do an extrusion to kind of cut out a little cylinder there into our um, object so we want to do remove and make sure it is going into the shape so you may have to hit this little button over here to reverse that direction we want a depth of 1.5 inches and then we do want a draft added to this one so it's going to be a little tricky to see that uh, when we have a draft that's going inwards like we want we should see a second circle inside of here so if i click the opposite direction now you can see that circle right here so that's how we want it so once you see that second little circle inside of our big circle, then we can click the green check and we should have that sort of hollowed out, um, papered in uh, hole there. Next up, we're going to create the circle pattern for the rest of these little tools. So we'll go back to our top face, create a new sketch. And then from here, we're going to create a circle we want it to be straight vertical of this one, so go ahead to the origin, drag straight up. Make sure you see that dotted line. Draw a new circle. This circle is going to be a diameter of 0 0.1, so we'll dimension that 0 0.1. So it's a lot smaller, and then we're going to make sure that it is a distance of 0 0.3 above our origin, just like that. Okay, then we're going to create a circular pattern with five of these guys. 
So click there and then make sure that the center is snapped to the origin. Click the little three X, change it to a five, and then click somewhere away from those circles to finish it. Everything here should be black because it is fully constrained. If it's not, make sure that you've got this dimension and the size dimensions. If all looks good, click the green check, and then we're going to extrude all five of these into our shape. So we'll have to make sure we have a remove selected, maybe switch to an isometric so you can kind of see what's happening. You can kind of see these do follow downwards. We want the depth of these to be one inch. We want a two degree draft. So update that two to a three or that three to a two. Then go to your top view to make sure you can see that other circle inside of here. If you don't, click the opposite direction button so that we do get this little tiny circle inside of this one. And that's the result of that draft that's going inwards. From here, you can click the green check to kind of finish that. And then, now that you've got everything kind of set up how you want it, we want to actually make this thing hollow. So if this was made out of plastic, you wouldn't want a solid hunk of plastic or if it's made of silicone or um, some kind of um, rubber or something. You don't want to use a solid block of that. So we're going to actually hollow it out by using a new feature called the shell feature. And it's right over here. You may need to search for it or use a drop down on your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click that shell feature. And here we're going to rotate to the bottom of our object because that's where we want to hollow it out from. So I click there. We can kind of see right away it does hollow it out. Notice how it's kind of hollowing out around the features that we created. So since we did those holes, it's not going to just uh, erase those holes or get rid of that material that's kind of creating the wall for the hole. It's just going to work around it. So if you make it too thick, you could potentially get errors. Um, or it could just really slow down the program, which I think is maybe what I did right now. So there I did get an error, and it's likely due to those walls from the holes colliding. So we don't want to have the shell be that big. We want just a 0 0.05 inch shell. So it's going to be a pretty thin wall here, but it should look something like that. And I'm just rotating it around so you can see it. Once it looks like this, we can go ahead and click the green check finish and there you have it that is your screwdriver holder so we i think we did a pretty good job approximating it for your uh, submission i just want you guys to create a multi-view drawing of this one and then you're going to export the pdf and that's what you'll submit for uh, this assignment uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and create some, sh uh, show the hidden lines on here just so I can see that you did actually create those uh, shelled features. And I won't require any dimensions on this one. So go ahead and export that PDF. Name it 1.3.4 part 2 and then just your name. Click the export and that's what you'll submit. So. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.